Why is it important to connect with nature, particularly for our self-growth? There are a lot of ideas about, out there about how to grow as a person and develop as a person, but did you know that one of the greatest teachers that you have might be sitting in your backyard? Welcome to the channel. I'm Kim Marie, and this channel is all about supporting women to step into their most empowered self so they can live their most fulfilling life. Today, we're exploring why it's important to connect with nature in order to become our most empowered self. I want to share some things nature can do for us, and some of those things might be less familiar than you realize. So let's dive in. One of the biggest reasons it's important to connect with nature is that nature is a source of calm and even clarity. Nature has an undeniable effect on all levels of our being. It is scientifically proven to help reduce stress. Even nature bathing or forest bathing, as it's known, is prescribed by doctors in Japan as a healing method. So there is this incredibly powerful effect that nature has on us when we take time to connect with it. So it can reduce our stress and our anxiety. It can alleviate a sense of depression or overwhelm, and it begins to help us find a sense of presence and connection to life itself on so many levels. Another reason it's important to connect with nature is that it can foster a deeper connection to ourselves. We can, for example, go out on what indigenous peoples would call a vision quest, where we go out into the natural world and we get quiet and we get still and we have inspiration. We find ourselves inspired. We find ourselves able to find a certain amount of self-trust and connection that we didn't have. Maybe we even feel more connected with our values along the way. Nature is also a mirror to us. So we have to remember that we are nature. Nature. We aren't just a part of nature. So the idea that the tree is a reflection of us and we can literally look at that tree and say, how is that living in me? Am I rooted? Am I standing straight and tall and strong? Am I branching out into the world and envisioning new possibilities for myself? What fruit am I bearing from my branches? What am I creating as a result of this? Or we can look at the bear and say, well, how do I look for the, the depths and, and the roots of things in, as the bear does to survive for its food, digging up roots? Or how am I taking time to hibernate and quiet myself during you know, slower times of the year, darker times of the year? All of nature is living within us and we can begin to look at it as an amazing teacher mirroring itself back to us and helping us return to a sense of wholeness. This is one of the biggest reasons I teach a lot about nature in connection with women's empowerment because I think too many of us ignore that and don't think of it as an important enough tool to help us find our sense of self. Nature also gives us a sense of empowerment through its natural wisdom. There's the wisdom of the cycles of the seasons, the cycles of the moon, the cycle of day and night, every single day with the sun, right? And the earth moving around the sun. There is so much wisdom to be had simply by tuning in to those cycles and rhythms and realizing that that is actually something that can be very empowering to us as we honor our journey. It can also help us to navigate extremes in life. We see extremes in nature and we see somehow nature working harmoniously with those extremes rather than polarizing itself, right? There are lots of different expressions. We can have extreme storms and extreme calm. We can have extreme heat and cold, but somehow the whole of nature finds a way to reconcile those polarities and exist and keep growing and thriving, assuming human beings don't destroy it first. But ultimately, nature's way is to move in that direction of being able to tolerate these extremes and navigate them. I I actually have a free tool for you called my Balance and Empowerment Cards that I invite you to download with the link below, completely free. And these Balance and Empowerment Cards talk a lot about extremes of false power and false powerlessness and how we can find a balance point of empowerment between
using that to navigate extremes in our life. So I think you're gonna really enjoy those. Be sure to download them. Nature also brings us inspiration and creativity. When we align with the cycles and seasons of the year, we become more inspired and we end up being more creative and we have greater problem solving capacities and definitely greater awareness. One of the things that I love to do, and I invite you to check out the link in the description for this, is I publish a Sacred Nights of Winter journal every year. And this year, I'm so excited to share that the theme is living aligned with nature. And so when we are living aligned with nature, we find more of ourselves. Now the sacred nights of winter are the darkest nights of the year. It's roughly winter solstice through early January. You'll journal for 13 days and nights and have all these beautiful prompts. It's a gorgeous full color page journal that you can get in a PDF format or have mailed to your door. And it really is this beautiful opportunity opportunity to connect more deeply with yourself, with the rhythm of the year, with nature itself, and begin to understand more and more how important connecting with nature is in our day-to-day -day lives. So I hope you'll take a look at that and order your journal so that you can enjoy that journaling time during the darkest nights of the year and connect more deeply with nature for your own self-awareness and to support you in the coming year. There's a lot in there that will help you kind of set yourself up to be more effective and navigate those extremes and deal with the challenges that we inevitably face year after year more effectively. Nature also gives us a sense of interconnectedness. The word alone is ultimately defined as being without reference to another. Now, I love that definition because we want to stand in our own sovereignty. If we're standing in our own empowerment, we are not with reference to another. But the word alone is also made up of all one. And so it's interesting to think of the idea that when we can have time alone, perhaps even with nature, perhaps even with the journal that I mentioned, we can find our interconnectedness. Nature has all of its beings able to stand alone and yet they work together. There is a synergy, there's a harmony, there's an interconnectedness going on there. And when we can connect more with nature, we can begin to find our own interconnectedness with each other, with life, and even within the fragmented aspects of our being, we can begin to heal and find wholeness in that it begins to generate a greater sense of purpose and responsibility and meaning when we can remember our interconnectedness, when we can connect to that idea of all one and even also be able to handle and deal with being alone. There are a lot of people who really struggle with having alone time. They have to hear the voice of something or have noise around them or have people interacting with them. When we can learn to quiet, and nature is such a powerful tool for that, we can learn to find our role in this universe and how it connects and interconnects with the whole of life. Nature is one of the most powerful tools and teachers on our path to empowerment and self-trust. It helps us remember that we have everything we need within us. Nature has given us all that we need, and it's such a powerful healer, a powerful trigger for self-awareness and connection. Nature is such a beautiful model for us on our path forward. So I hope you'll take some of these tools into consideration, some of these ideas into consideration for why it's important to connect with nature and download the free gifts, check out my Sacred Nights of Winter journal. Be sure to like and subscribe and let me know in the comments any questions that you have or any of your own personal experiences around connecting with nature. Thank you so much for watching. I look forward to seeing you in the next video.